Little wins, right? Yeah. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So this is the first video in my Woody Quadcopter build series. And uh, there's complete information about how to build the frame on RC Groups, and I'll put a link to that. In fact, I got this frame from my friend Barney. He put the frame together, and he has the thread. So you can look at that and see how to put these frames together. Now what I've been doing is working with the Pixhawk Lite here, or otherwise known as the Mini Pixhawk. And it's got an M8N GPS on here. And what I'm going to do is talk to you about how to wire this up and how to put the telemetry radio on it. And I've drawn up a nice little schematic here. Now I've left the section empty down here in this area so later on we can draw in the FPV section which I'll be covering in another video when we add FPV to the quadcopter. So both of these schematics are posted on the RC Groups thread which I put a link to underneath the video so you can download them there if you want to but remember they're a work in progress so there may be some changes coming up so I'll go over the wiring on this and uh, as we go through and how to set it up but right now let's take a look at some uh, early video we did doing a hover test yeah. on it gotta see if we can arm it So that was the hover test. Uh, now let's go to the bench and take a close look at the electronics for the Mini Pixhawk. So I'm going to be going back and forth here between the Pixhawk and the wiring diagram. So let's first start with the battery. So the LiPo battery is mounted underneath the quad right here. Down in here, just velcroed on the bottom and strapped on. And here's the XT60 connector. And that plugs on right here to the power module. So on the diagram, that is right here. Here's the LiPo battery and there's the XT60 connector going to the input of the power module right there. Okay, then the outputs of the power module, some of them right here go to the mini Pixhawk and they plug in right here. And that is represented by this blue wire here that goes across to this connector. That's that bundle of wires that supply power to the Mini Pixhawk. Okay, and then the other output are these big red and black wires that have an XE60 connector, and on mine it's black, and that's where the Q brain is plugged in. And that's represented by this XT60 connector, and this is the output supplying the current to the Q brain to run the motors. Okay, so I also have right in this area a couple of taps coming off to run LED lights or other accessories and they are right here here's both of them one of them I already have plugged in a string of LED lights just as a test and the other one's open to use maybe for the FPV later when I hook up the video transmitter or the camera that could be used or it could just be used for other lights so that's that now Next thing we want to look at is the Q-Brain motor input. So these are the outputs and these are the four wires going to the Q-Brain. And there's also a red and black wire providing voltage and ground from the Q-Brain, but I'm not using that, so I just have it laying there. And those wires are represented right here. And I have them located on the uh, ports to the, the motor ports of the Q-Brain right here. So the outputs for the motors go like this. And I have them configured on the diagram so that they come out right uh, in the mission planner, the way the mission planner wants it configured. And that is with the motors like this. We got M1, M2, M3, M4, which represents these motors up here. And also I have the front of the quadcopter represented by this arrow, and then the direction of the motors right here. And if the direction of the motors is wrong, 
all you have to do is switch two of these wires here by unplugging the bullet connectors and switching them around where they go to the motors. And the motors I'm using, you can see right here, they are the AX2810Q. Let's see if I can get that in the picture. And they're uh, KB750s. The props are 11 by 5 thin blade props from Hobby King. Uh, so now let's take a look at the receiver. So this is the RC receiver down here and I'm using an X8R uh, by FreeSky and the SBOS output of that goes on one cable, it's PPM mode, just one cable plugs in right here onto the cube, onto the uh, mini Pixhawk. So that is represented by this right here. Here's the receiver. There's the three wires plugged in the SBOS, so that's uh, just one cable really, one servo cable going to the RC in. Now this SBOS SB on the diagram actually is an SBOS output and it's not used. Now this is a mini Pixhawk version 2 light and uh, the uh, diagram shows these inputs which have been corrected from the V1. So these are the correct designations for all the inputs and outputs and it's the way I have it wired now and it works fine so that should save you a lot of guesswork. Now down here we have the GPS compass module and it's the Neo M8N, a U-Blox Neo M8N. Now you can use other compass, uh, GPS compass modules if you want to. This is the one I have and it's mounted right here. And this is the wiring bundle coming from it and it's plugged in right here. And that's represented by this plug right here. There's actually two ports on this GPS and I've got it on the port one. Okay, so both the compass and the GPS wiring come out of this one connector. Four of the wires go right here into the I2C port and that's for the compass. The other two wires go over here to the transmit and receive uh, for the GPS input right here. And then there's also on the Pixhawk some wires here for telemetry to run the radio and the OSD which I'll get into in a minute. So let's look at the, uh, the compass wires. Okay, so the compass wires are right here and they come out of this one plug, as I said, and go into the I2C plug down here. So that's how they're wired in. These wires underneath here are actually going to the button. So there's three wires going to the arm button here, which has a light on it, and that's just going around and plugged in there. That's on the bottom of the board, and that's uh, represented in the diagram for the back, which I don't have up right now, but here it is right there. You can see it plugged in. Okay, so now you can see these four wires, like I said, are for the compass, and these two go to the GPS right there. Now these other wires coming off, like I said, will feed the telemetry, and they have the Mavlink data going to both the telemetry radio and the Minim OSD. And the telemetry radio, unlike the Minim OSD, also transmits back, because it's a two-way deal. It's a transceiver, so you can send commands to the Pixhawk from your laptop, your notebook, or Maybe you have a phone, a smartphone, so you can put an app on there and actually talk to your quadcopter while it's, you know, tune it, give it commands, give it a mission, whatever you want to do while it's flying. So that's why it has a transmit back. The minimum OSD doesn't. In fact, it's got, just got two wires here because it receives and then it's got a ground and it's going to get its voltage down here eventually when I do the FPV uh, video. I'll show you how to hook up the voltage to the camera and the video receiver, I mean video transmitter in, in that video. But if you look at those wires, they're actually right here. Now this is the telemetry radio, so it's got the most wires. It's got four wires. So it's got the ground, voltage, transmit and receive, which is the yellow and white. Now the minimum OSD, I don't have plugged in yet, but here's the wires for it. And that's just the transmit and the ground. So that's all we got going to it. And let's see, they're actually, it's important to know that they're actually uh, tied in together right here, sort of like a bus. So I have that on the diagram right here. You can see where I've joined the wires right here. There's a bead right there and a bead right here. So these two wires, which are the transmit and the ground, are shared by both devices. Then you have the five volts here, which is not shared, and the transmit coming from the air radio to the receive in on the mini Pixar. That isn't shared. So that's basically how it's hooked up. Now, I forgot to mention that these pins here, uh, there's a little note here, and it says the signal pins are at the top. So the, the top is the signal pins, the middle pins are for voltage, and then the bottom pins are for ground. 
that's an important thing to know. So that's the brief overview. And in the next video, we'll talk about how to program it using the Mission Planner and get everything set up. So obviously, I probably didn't answer every question anyone would ask. So if you have any questions, you can leave them under the video. And I will post a link to this diagram and the RC Groups thread uh, for the frame. Uh, so that's it for now. I hope this helps if anyone's going to be setting up a mini Pixhawk or, or building this frame. Uh, you'll probably get there quicker by watching this video. At least that's my intent. So goodbye for now, and we'll talk to you later. Take care, bye.